we've often heard people complaining of palpitations these palpitations can be a normal abnormal awareness of one's heartbeat or an abnormally abnormal awareness of one's heartbeat so when when would a person have palpitations maybe a person has some extra beat or the heart is pumping or is pounding a little bit harder maybe in exercise fever stress anxiety these all are normal variations of the heartbeat and these are not arrhythmias however if the patient has abnormally fast heartbeat which may be because of a irregular heart rate called as an atrial fibrillation in those cases this is classified as arrhythmias there are various kinds of arrhythmias one is atrial arrhythmias and second is ventricular arrhythmias or more specifically ventricular arrhythmias and supraventricular arrhythmias ventricular arrhythmias can be either ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardias usually ventricular fibrillations or ventricular tachycardias are the dangerous arrhythmias they can be life threatening and they need immediate attention most probably they may require an emergency medicine or a dc cardioversion supraventricular arrhythmias are not so dangerous we can buy some time to reach the hospital they may be regular arrhythmias or irregular arrhythmias now the regular arrhythmias are supraventricular arrhythmias and the patient may present with palpitations which are regular in these circumstances he or she may feel abnormal fast pounding sensation of the heart he may also feel that the heart is just bumping to come out along with sweating giddiness diaphoresis etc they may feel that their life is just going to end but in supraventricular arrhythmias we do have some time once we reach the hospital the doctor may give injections depending upon the type of supraventricular arrhythmias treatment of supraventricular arrhythmias can be simple just in the form of medications like beta blockers calcium channel blockers or other rate limiting drugs in rare cases if someone has recurrent uncomfortable frequent palpitations in that case we can do a electrophysiological study to identify the source of the arrhythmias followed by a radio frequency ablation that is a laser kind of therapy to ablate the abnormal pathway of the arrhythmia it is an interventional procedure which requires a catheterization laboratory and it has a success rate of more than 95% the irregularly irregular beating of heartbeat also called as atrial fibrillation can be asymptomatic or symptomatic the problem with atrial fibrillation is the flow of blood in a particular chamber of the heart call the left atrial appendage becomes skewed as a result of which there can be clot formation and if there is clot formation in the left atrial appendage that can lead to embolization either in the brain or in different parts of the body called as systemic embolization if it embolizes in the brain it can cause stroke or paralysis whereas if it goes to different other parts of the body it can block the circulation so atrial fibrillation needs 
blood thinning medicines to prevent formation of clots and beta blockers to control the heartbeat in rare cases arrhythmias if they are having a low blood pressure can be terminated with a direct cardioversion if someone is having dangerous arrhythmias such as ventricular tachycardias and ventricular fibrillations which are frequent this patient can undergo a pacemaker implantation called as a aicd that is an automated implantable cardioverter defibrillator so basically we implant a defibrillator just under the skin by creating a pocket there if and when the patient has an arrhythmia so such as a ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation with automated protocols this would be detected and it can be treated by shocks usually ventricular arrhythmias are dangerous to life supraventricular arrhythmias do permit us some time so that we can take the necessary treatment supraventricular arrhythmias have a decent prognosis and even ventricular arrhythmias if treated in on time can have a good prognosis